are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 14 Java Server Faces, JSF, Interview Questions and Answers for Fresh and Experienced Candidates. 1. Explain what is JSF or Java Server Faces. Java Server Faces or JSF, it is a Java-based web application framework to make the user interface simple for G applications. Instead of traditional request-driven MVC framework it uses component-based approach. 2. Explain what is the JSF architecture. JSF is designed on the MVC, Model View Controller, framework and this allows for applications to be scaled better. A JSF application is same like other Java technology-based web. Application. It runs in a Java servlet container and it contains Java Beans components as models consisting data and application-based functionality custom tag library for representing validators and event handlers. Custom tag library for rendering UI components UI components signified as stateful objects on the server server side helper classes event handlers. Validators and navigation handlers application configuration resource file for organizing and configuring application resources. Three, explain the life cycle of JSF. Life cycle of JSF includes restore view phase. During this phase binding of components to its event handlers and validators are executed and view is saved in the faces context object apply request values phase. The motive of this phase is to retrieve its current date for each component process validation phase during this phase local values saved for the component in the tree are compared to the components validation rules registered update model value phase after verifying that data is genuine or valid in the previous phase local values of components can be set to related server side object properties invoke application phase Prior to this phase the component values have been transformed, validated and applied to the bean objects, so that you can avail them to run the application's business logic render response phase. JSP container renders the page back to the user in this phase. Four. List out the available implementations of Java server faces. When it comes to JSF there are reference implementation, RE, by Sun Microsystems. Apache My Faces is an open source Java server faces, JSF, implementation and for Oracle there is ADF faces. 5. Mention what does a typical JSF application consist of. The typical JSF application consists of JSF Java Beans components for managing the application state and its behavior event-driven development pages that represent MVC style views. Pages reference view routes via the JSF component tree. Six. Explain how JSF is different from conventional JSP. JSP is a Java-based technology used in order to help developers to create dynamic web pages. JSP must be compiled in Java bytecode in respect to function properly. JSP does not support validator and conversion, AJAX, etc. JSP is not an interface within the view template. However, JSP are compiled within the server JSP is not managed or processed by the faces servlet. Instead, 
JSP are Java servlets by themselves. JSF is a web application used to simplify development integration of web-based user interfaces. JSF contains multiple core features like managed beams, component system, etc. that is based on template and tag libraries. JSF supports validator and conversion, AJAX, etc. Within a view template JSF is an interface JSF is processed by faces servlet. Seven, explain what is rendering of page in JSF. A JSF page has components which are made with the help of JSF library. The JSF components like H, form, H, input text, H, command button etc. are rendered or translated to HTML output. This process is referred as encoding. Encoding assigns a unique id to a component by the framework and the ids are produced at random. 8. Mention what does JSF managed bean. Managed bean in JSF act as a model for UI component, it can be accessed from JSF page. The managed bean consists of the getter and setter techniques, business logic or even a backing bean. 9. Explain what Ajax is and how JSF is useful for making Ajax call. Ajax is a method to use HTTP XML object of JavaScript to direct data to server and receive data from server simultaneously. Using AJAX, JavaScript code exchanges data with server, updates parts of web pages without reloading the whole page. For making AJAX call JSF provides full support. It provides F, AJAX tag to handle AJAX calls. 10. Explain how you can call multiple listeners in JSF. To call multiple listeners in JSF, there is a JSF tag for value change listeners and one for action listeners that can be availed to link one or more than one listeners to an element. While using the tag syntax, you will be declaring a class that implements a listener interface. For value change listener tag is less than f, value change listener greater than and for action listeners tag is less than f, action listener greater than. 11. Mention what is the difference between JSF and struts. JSF is a specification JSF action methods can be applied in Java objects JSF has event model which reacts on actions. Value changes and phase changes in JSF lifecycle JSF component tag does not produce HTML instead they declare a component render a pair on the server by mentioning a navigation rule in the faces. Configuration file. JSF supports navigation JSF uses dependencies injection struts is an open source framework struts actions are restricted to struts API only there are no such event models in struts struts tag generates HTML directly to define navigation struts uses the notation there is no dependencies injection in struts 12 what are converter tags in JSF? JSF has inbuilt converters to convert or change its UI components data to object used in a managed bean and vice versa. These tags can convert text into date object and can validate the format of the input as well. 13. List out the converter tags used in JSF. Convert number. It converts a string into a number of desired format convert date time. It converts a string into a date of desired format custom converter. It creates a custom converter converter tags used in JSFR. 14. Explain what are facelets JSF tags. Facelets JSF tags are special tags to create common layout for a web application referred as facelet tags. 
to manage common parts of a multiple pages at one place, facelets tags are used. Thank you for watching my video I hope you will learn well and request to you please support my YouTube channel. Click subscription button and bell icon for watching my upcoming videos.